Miss Chance was a six year thunder review, this time of the Hot Toys, the Dark Knight, the Joker 2.0 DX11. So here you go. So uh, so this is a fantastic figure. Just want to say go check out toyanxiety.com. They're great for all your one in six scale needs and they part out figures. So if you're just looking for a piece or something, go to them. I mean there's so many cool accessories that come with this guy, and you maybe have like an older Joker or something, you can go just buy a couple pieces from this guy from them and to go along with your older Joker, that would be really awesome. Just overall, a fantastic site. Go check them out. Link is in the description. So yeah, so um, so very nice. I did buy this from a uh, sideshow though, I because I had to get the sideshow exclusive. I was a big fan of that mask and the detonator, so I really wanted to get uh get those exclusive items. So I did pay a lot more to order from them rather than just buy the toy anxiety. But I had to get the exclusive items, so I did. So yeah, so um, let's get him out of the package and uh, see how cool he is. Here's the Joker outside the package, but before we go into the figure, let's go over his accessories. So the Joker comes with six palms ungloved. As you can see, they look cool. Three for the left, three for the right. He's got two relaxed palms, two kind of more open hands that are more expression. Uh, one hand for the right that's a little bit open with the finger pointing, and then one hand for the left that's more for holding small things like a knife or or even the handcuffs, just so, so, some stuff like that. So overall, a nice amount of um, of hands that uh, that are bare or that aren't have the gloves. The dirtied up look is very cool. Pretty accurate, Let's see if it'll focus. There you go, looking very cool, really do like that. Wonderful job on these hands. I would have liked a little bit more paint though, because he did have a, like a lot of paint on his hands, and there is a little bit, but uh, but I would have liked a little bit more. But overall, a nice range of hands uh, that are not gloved, very nice. So the Joker comes with eight hands that are gloved, uh, four for the right, four for the left. I do like that you get the same amount of uh, hands for either side, either gloved or ungloved, which is pretty nice. He's got two hands for trigger fingers that can hold the pistol or the machine gun, as long as you get one right hand that's got a... Uh, uh, a trigger finger but it's a little bit more curved and that is for holding the shotgun and then you get two just kind of open expression hands you get uh, a one left hand that's more for holding the knife the joker cards anything pretty much small uh, a relaxed palm for the left hand and then a open hand with a pointing figure for the right hand overall you do get a, a good amount of, um, of hands here uh, the only thing that I find a little strange is he doesn't come with a single fist uh, which is odd either either palmed or sorry Sorry, either gloved or ungloved hand, you don't get a single fist, which I guess a fist is pretty boring with a figure like Joker, you want some cool expression hand. If he came with a fist, I certainly wouldn't use it, but I, you know, I'm sure that there's some people that would have liked it, and because, you know, he, he does fight hand to hand with Batman at the end uh, quickly, so I would have liked to see a fist, but other than that, not a huge problem, a great number of hands, and uh, you just get a lot of hands with this guy, which is great, great for uh, design, designing what you like and for your personal preference. So of course, what would Joker be without his knives? You get quite a few here. Of course, here you get two ones that uh, are for plugging into the shoe. Um, although he only uses one in the movie on one side, it is still nice that they give you two so you can pick the side that you want, uh, which is pretty nice. And then you get another one that's just, it's pretty standard knife, as you can see here, just to focus. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Nothing, uh, nothing too amazing here. It does roll, so if you're putting it like on the table and you want to leave it on the table, it will probably start to roll a bit. He does come with this second knife. Overall, it's pretty nice, and it is uh, just you know you can just push this down and then it goes retracts into the uh, into the handle, which is pretty cool. Really do like this, and I do like the the knives that actually like work and stuff. Then here he's got this knife, which is really cool. It does kind of just like lock in like this, but what you want to do is just unlock it, and then you can um, you can actually collapse it just like this and then you can just lock it up here so overall extremely neat really do love the knives that actually like do something and uh, really cool you've got a nice range to choose from and he can hold them all really well he also comes with a uh, multitude of firearms as you can see you do just have one uh, single handgun 
Looks very cool. Do like the detailing and everything. You can actually retract this and it'll go back, which is pretty neat. And it does have a removable ammo pack that uh, that does have a bullet on top, as you can see. Pretty neat. It slides in there really well and uh, a really nice weapon. Um, he uses this for sure uh, in the first scene, the bank robbing, when he shoots the um, the bank owner. And I'm sure that he uses this in the. Oh, he also uses this with the uh, the Italian uh, mob guy when he's about to kill him and uh, those are the only two times that I actually remember him using this but uh, he might have used it some more times and then here he also comes with a shotgun really nice unfortunately this doesn't do anything though I would have liked this to move back or something but it really doesn't not a big right but it would have been cool overall this is pretty nice and he does have a separate hand just for holding this so he can only hold this in the right hand if you want him to hold it the right way so yeah he uses this um, to shoot the uh, the cop that comes and tells him that they have to move the uh, the, the the semi, and then he also uses it as trying to shoot uh, through the armored truck where Two Face is in. I think he also uses this gun for that too, but I, I can't be for sure. And then he does come with this a very nice machine gun. As you can see, it looks really awesome. It does have a um, a movable stock, which is quite wonderful. Looks very cool. It does have a removable ammo pack as well, and you can see the little bullet in there. And um, and then this does pull back, which is awesome, and it is on a spring and everything. Really neat, really love all the different features, all the things that you can do with this gun. Really special, really cool. And of course, this is the gun, you know, the uh, the... the hit me hit me gun when he's uh walking towards the bat pod and uh, he wants batman to kill him so very cool not lots of nice guns all of which he uses in the movie at least twice which is quite wonderful and uh yeah so let's see how he looks with this one so here he is with the uh with the machine gun absolutely cool i love the laughing face how unstable does this guy look with a huge gun and just this crazy face purple jacket really love it it looks incredible i mean there's nothing like bad i can say about this figure you also get handcuffs and a pencil. Of course, a pencil from the signature magic trick scene from the movie. Everybody knows that. I hear, you know, quotes from that just about every day. So, yeah. So now, um, the, the, with the hand cuts, very cool, really do like the, uh, the very shiny silver look. It is a real chain connecting them together, and it does open and close, and it opens really well. This is a really tight joint, so if you actually have it closed on somebody, it won't just be falling out and stuff. It'll actually stay, which is really cool. This is nice because this, you know, doesn't have to be used for Joker or anything. You can totally use those handcuffs for just any hot toys that you have. It works really well, and, uh, they look really cool. Two really unique and, uh, fun accessories that you wouldn't really expect with this guy but you get which is really nice so he also comes with stacks of money which is really awesome as you can see just here's a few of the uh, the dollars and it's just wonderfully painted I uh, would kind of like these to be a hundred dollars but I guess one dollar is cool um, overall it looks really nice I do love how the uh, the face of the president is uh, is painted jokerish really cool it's the same line in every single dollar um, there is no regular dollar they're all painted like this overall looks wonderful the amount of detail is quite spectacular there's nothing on the other side and I'm um, just to show you how much he comes with uh, let me just show you that there's the amount of money that you get. You get quite a lot, which is pretty nice, and uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. I just like to spread it across the floor. Looks really awesome, and I really do love it. Of course, the Joker comes with a plethora of uh, Joker cards. Absolutely wonderful. I really do like how many you get, and uh, I'm glad that they didn't just like mold in a stack of cards so you really couldn't take them all apart. You totally can, and they look really awesome. The ones to the right are the more well-known cards that he uses in the movie. The three to the right are directly uses, uh, used in the movie. Of course, the right one is the one that the judge has. The, uh, the one next to it is the one that was seen at the end of The Batman Begins, and the one next to that is the one that he gives the mob dealers and uh, the rest of them are pretty well known uh, except when you get to the end you really don't see those a lot most of those are for were used in the car explosion of course because there was you know how many hundreds of cards there so overall really do love it love how many cards you get they're all individually detailed extremely well and they look absolutely fantastic of course, the Joker comes with a base. I really do love this base. It's a very DX base, and it has, it is a nice purple finish. Looks wonderful. You get the nice DX uh, uh, nameplate that's with the chrome, and the, there is a piece of plastic still, and I haven't taken off. The Joker DX looks wonderful. There are two lights, which uh, which need um, what is it? 
they need uh, three AAA batteries, which is pretty cool. I haven't put the lights in at all yet because I'm not planning on using this because I like the table so much. But you do get this nice kind of um, uh, metal plating finish. It's got all the crisscrosses in it and everything. You have the nice Dark Knight logo. Look at that. I love the rust. The rust is, it's a little too red for me. I wish that they'd blacken it up a little bit because it's very bright red, unfortunately, or orange, you know. It's not a horrible problem, but it's just a little minor thing. And of course, and adjustable cradle really nice overall the base is really cool but I can't imagine using this over the table because the table is amazing I just anybody who puts the table just in the box and uses this base I don't know I, I certainly wouldn't do that overall it is pretty nice though but the other uh, option is much better in my opinion so now just going over the interrogation or the mob table itself, it can be used for either way. But as you can see, it looks absolutely wonderful. Love the chrome finish on it. Extremely accurate, extremely nice. The actual legs, they do have some like dirty and kind of look like rusted look at the end of the legs, which is pretty neat. It might be a little hard to see here, but you can kind of see that. It looks wonderful. There's padding at the end of each leg of the table, which is great. And just the top of it is filled with scrapes and everything which just looks incredible, really well detailed, really just incredible. I absolutely love it. Of course, there is a circle over there, which is cool, but when you don't have the pencil in it, it does look a little bit bare and kind of strange on the table, but when you do have the pencil in it, it is really neat looking. Absolutely love this. So this is why it could be the mob table as well, um, but it's generally known as the uh, interrogation table. Really cool, really love that you could do this. I, I think that this is the first Joker figure that actually comes with a gimmick like that uh, to reenact that kind of incredible scene that uh, I still remember, you know, at the movies and then when he does that, you know, the from everybody in the audience who was <laughs> kind of grossed out about it. Really hilarious. Absolutely love that. And uh, a wonderful table at that. Really quite incredible. It does have a magnetic part of it on the side here because of course the lamp is here. The lamp does have a cord that is attached at the bottom of the table but can be removed um, and uh, very easy. It's just a little peg and as you can see a little magnet there. It just magnets right into the top of the table and the lamp itself is really cool has joints on three parts of the lamp which is just wonderful so you can really do a lot with it you can you can do a little Pixar dance with it if you want to and um, I would have really loved it to light up just a little light in the top of it would have been so cool but that's way over the top overall this table is incredible really loving it they did a fantastic job and uh, couldn't have asked for anything more of course, you need the chair to go along with the table. It looks wonderful. You do get that chrome silver finish, of course, and it does have that kind of dirty look at the end there. Now you can see a little better. Also, there are pads at the end of each of these uh, these legs as well. And just the designing on this is wonderful. You get some scrapes up there and everything. Really great. This looks this looks so realistic. Even the uh, the texture and the uh, the fabric here, very leather like, and it it really is a nice feel. This isn't this isn't 100 percent plastic this is a really nice feel to it really wonderful really do love that on the back here very cool the only thing I will say is this panel it isn't just it isn't in very well it just it does kind of like wobble I mean it's not like it's gonna fall out or anything it's just not in there and this has nothing to do with the structure of these uh, the, the uh, chair so it's like if this thing actually fell out it wouldn't affect the chair at all but I seriously doubt it will it's just it's got a little bit of a wobble to it uh, there's some extra space in the holes that it actually plugs into not a bad thing at all though it really doesn't matter Overall, this is a really cool chair, and even if you don't want to use it for Joker, you can use this for so many other figures. I was watching Avengers last night, you can even just uh, uh, put Black Widow in it, and you can use the handcuffs and uh, reenact the opening scene of, um, of Black Widow from that movie. That would have been cool too. So just there's so many cool uses that you can use for this, and it also works so great with the table. I am absolutely loving the accessories that he comes with, and it's amazing. Here's the Joker sitting at the table in the chair. As you can see, it looks really fantastic. I absolutely love the way that he looks sitting in this table. And um, what's really cool is you can totally leave the jacket on, and it won't hinder anything. He won't be uncomfortable. He won't be in a different, odd position or anything. You can totally leave the jacket on and have him sitting down, which is just really great. You don't have to remove the jacket because it's a really, it's quite an amazing looking uh, jacket. And, you know, it would really just uh, be a bummer if you had to remove it to have him sitting down like this. Overall he looks really wonderful at the table and I couldn't have asked for anything more. 
You also get an environment piece with this item, which is really cool, really neat, and something that I totally did not know about, uh, because there were no pictures of it during this figure, uh, when they did the picture showing you all the stuff that you get. This was not in that picture, and if I'm not mistaken, the shotgun wasn't even in that picture. So, this was uh, a surprise to me about two months ago, I learned that he was coming with this. That just really got me excited. Really do love it, they did a great job designing this. This is just one of the side pieces. This is actually the right side of it. And the way that you put it on is you get one of these. Sorry, you get one of these, and this is two pieces of Velcro stick together, and then you get these two white parts that you just remove to get the sticky. What you want to do is just remove one side, put it where it shows right there. You can see the outline, and then take off the side and to put the other, uh, the other, the other piece on it. So I would not recommend actually splitting up the uh, the. Um, the Velcro, what you should do is just stick both pieces of Velcro together right there and then just stick the other side of it on the other uh, on the other display piece. Um, this is the, pe the part that I don't use and uh, if you want to see what I use and how it looks, uh, let me take you to that. So here's the Joker in the display environment. As you can see, it looks really quite wonderful. This is how I absolutely uh, keep him in my shelf unit. As you can see, just looks fantastic. I love it like this. Pretty simple on the table, not too much going on. Then you got the pile of money and the exclusive items. Really love this. The uh, the environment piece looks absolutely beautiful. I I can't ask for anything more with that. It looks fantastic. And overall, this Joker figure just looks great in the environment. I absolutely love it. So here are the exclusive items that you get when you order them from the exclusive order at uh, Sideshow.com. Unfortunately, these are sold out, so anybody that wants to get it really has to go through eBay or, you know, third-party kind of places. But overall, it looks really cool. I really loved the idea of these uh, two exclusive items. As you can see, first of all, you just get the box with all the little paper in and everything. It looks really wonderful. It's designed well, but it is just really like a cardboard box. I was hoping that this would be plastic, and it really isn't, uh, but it's a very hard, uh, it's a very hard kind of cardboard that they use, though, so I really wouldn't worry about it breaking or anything, but it is, uh, it's, it's not perfect, but there is some nice texture and everything. Overall, it looks really cool, and it is pretty accurate. The detonator is really nice. Absolutely love this little hook on it is, uh, is real, so it does move and everything. Looks wonderful. Look at the design in this. Absolutely love this. This was such a cool part of the movie. I just wish that you could turn the key. That's that's just one thing that I thought would be really cool that uh, that it could do, but it really doesn't. And the the detonator can just go in there. Absolutely love that. Really love that part of the movie. So that exclusive item is really cool. The mask is really nice. It's a very very hard soft plastic. It's probably the hardest soft plastic there is. It's very. It's barely pliable but it is a little pliable so yeah you can totally use this in a custom and actually put them on and everything he looks really cool really do love this and uh, I love that this is this is kinda like real uh, uh, you know kinda fabric or whatever looks wonderful the design of it is fantastic I actually do own uh, this guy's mask I think it's grumpy I um, I did buy that mask because this guy was my favorite of the bank robbers so I did want that so so just because they came out with the mask that I absolutely loved that's the big reason that I wanted uh, to get the exclusive item. So overall, the exclusive items are fantastic. I absolutely love them, and um, totally makes uh, makes it worthwhile the extra money I put into it buying from them instead of Tony's ID. But really, absolutely love these exclusive items. So now on to the figure. But first, let's go over the face. As you can see, it looks quite wonderful. I absolutely love this look. The way that they designed it is beautiful. There's nothing bad that I can say about it whatsoever. I absolutely love it. It looks like Heath Ledger. It looks like the Joker. Really wonderful. The hair looks incredible. Really love the green and the, the black highlights that they used. Really quite great. And of course, this is the DX head, so it does have the uh, moving eyes. So let me show you how that works. So here you can take off uh, the back of the head, which is on a magnet, and a little peg just that goes up in the head. It stays on fine. You never have to worry about like falling off or anything like that. As you can see with the eyes here, they do move. If you can get a good grip. It's a very like small handle though, but there you go. You can see the eyes moving really kind of neat. I absolutely love the DX feature. It is something so unique, something so cool. Not any other toy company really does that. It's absolutely wonderful, and uh, I really love this head sculpt. I love the other head sculpt, but this one is so cool. It's just like, how do I not use this one? Because it's got the DX feature, so absolutely love it. 
So now just to go over the costume, as you can see, I really do love it. I think that it's showing up as a little bit more darker purple than it actually is. It looks almost a little bit bluish purple, but it is actually just a bright purple. There's a... Uh, there's no way around that, so yeah. So I'm not sure if it looks as good as it actually does in person. But as you can see, really well done. The coat is wonderful. It is a nice suede. It looks just awesome. Really do love it. I mean, there's nothing better they could have done. These are on just like little magnets, so they magnet on. And this is a working pocket. A lot of the pockets on him are actually working. So if you want to, you know, stick some money out or, or put a couple of Joker cards, you know, make them look really cool, you could totally do that, which is just awesome. The inner linings of clothing, you get another vest that's a... Uh, it's just a plain gray vest, which looks pretty cool. It gives it a nice lining. And then you get, of course, the green vest, which looks wonderful. And underneath that, you get that uh, that crazy styled uh, uh, um, you know, shirt underneath. Looks wonderful. And then the, uh, the necktie. Overall, looks absolutely wonderful. Really well done. Really do like these layers of clothing. Let's go down to the pants. So now down to the pants. Overall, you can see they're very nice. Do really like them. They're uh, they're very blue with some uh, white stripes or some cream stripes. Uh, he does have like, a real chain here that hangs from his pocket, and um, just up here. Very cool. Really do like that. And as you can see, the inner lining of the uh, the suit is a very just shiny, uh, glossy um, uh, orange, which is pretty neat. When you go down, you get these wonderful shoes. They look great. This, the straps are actually real, which is wonderful. Fantastic articulation on these ankles. Um, it looks like the joint is like up here, so it really works well. Really do love it. And these crazy socks. He's got some really crazy socks, but they look really awesome. Overall, the clothing design on this guy is phenomenal. Oops. Sorry, almost dropped him. It's just absolutely beautiful. I couldn't have asked for a single other thing with this figure uh, as far as clothing. They did it perfect, looks wonderful, and is great. Of course, the Joker comes with two head sculpts, uh, one this DX, and then one that's more DX and more serious, but with a little smile, and then there's this one, which is just a full-blown laugh. Really love this. This is the epitome of Joker. I mean, there's nothing better than this. Absolutely love it. The makeup is smeared a lot more, which is how it was in the interrogation scene. I just, I absolutely love this head sculpt. So unique, so cool. It is, it is absolutely amazing considering actually using this uh, in my display. Even though the other head is DX and it's amazing, this is just an incredible face sculpt. Absolutely love it. You look at this and there's, there's no mistaking. It's Joker. It's awesome and it's fantastic. So here's the Joker with some of the other villains from the Dark Knight trilogy. On his right, you've got Scarecrow, and on his left, you've got Bane. As you can see, incredible. They look all so cool together. These are the classic villains and my favorite villains from each movie. Batman Begins, Scarecrow, Dark Knight, a Joker, and Dark Knight Rises, Bane. Looking incredible and absolutely fantastic as far as scale. I think he's great. He's about the same height as Scarecrow, if not maybe just slightly shorter, but not very much at all. And then he is slightly shorter than Bane, uh, which I think is a wonderful scale. I have no problem in it and uh, looks fantastic. They all look great together and this guy just goes so well with the other Dark Knight uh, figures. So overall, this Joker is an absolute must-have for any big Batman Joker fan, whatever. I absolutely love it. I really have no flaws with the figure. He is a little pricey at $275, but with all the stuff that you get for him, he is cheap compared to uh, the quality and what you get for him. Wonderful figure, highly recommended by me. This is an absolute must-have. Nobody should go without this figure, and uh, possibly one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Hot Toys figures that I own because uh, this guy is truly incredible. So um, so I, uh, so I definitely go check out ToyingSidey.com. The link is in the description. They sell all 1-6 scale Hot Toys Sideshow figures. Go check them out today. Uh, they're great for uh, for just really anything. So yeah, so the link will be in the description. And um, they part out figures, so you're just looking for a piece or a part or accessory. Check them out. So yeah, so uh, so overall, I've, sa I've said enough. Incredible Joker figure. The figure does the talking. Look at this. How could you not just say this is amazing? Absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Mr. Transformers 96 here. Just want to say thank you for watching my Batman review. And definitely go check out ToyAnxiety.com. They're a fantastic toy store for all your 1 and 6 scale needs. They also part out figures and just have a wide variety of awesome characters. They sell high quality at low prices. Check out ToyAnxiety.com today.